Japan where modern skyscrapers dwarfed the monuments of ages past. Where timeless serenity mingles with industrial might. And one of the world's engineering marvels rises from the sea. Off the coast of Japan, there is a superstructure, so immense that it can be seen from space. The world's first airport in the midst of the sea. The largest man-made island of its day. And one of the world's architectural masterpieces. Is Kensai the airport of the future? Or is it doomed to sink beneath the waves? It was opened in 1994 and expanded in 2007. As you can imagine, construction was no easy task. Take a closer look at the world's first airport to be built on an artificial island. The Kansai International Airport is one of Asia's busiest airports and can remain operational 24 hours a day because of its isolated location. A 30-meter layer of earth was laid on top of the water by crushing three mountains and pouring them into a seabed consisting of thousands of heavy sand pipes. The result was a 4.5 kilometer long and 2.5 kilometer wide artificial island. After some modifications, repairs and the addition of a second runway, the total costs had risen to $24 billion. However, the novel location and engineering innovation made the Kansai International Airport an instant hit. More than 28 million passengers used Kansai International Airport in 2019. The airport has already survived a lot in terms of natural disasters. The airport handled the Kobe earthquake in January 1995 quite well. Despite extensive damage to buildings at a similar distance, this success is attributed to the use of sliding joints in all airport building construction. It has also coped well with several typhoons over the years, including an extreme one in 1998 with winds of over 210 km per hour. Unfortunately a typhoon in 2018, the strongest typhoon to hit Japan since 1993 caused extensive damage across the Kansai region. Runways were flooded while a tanker damaged the bridge. Full operations at the airport did not start again for nearly a month, this has reignited discussion of the problems with the airport and how it has been sinking. Since the time of its conception the issue of the further sinking of Kansai Airport has been a major one. Its foundations are on a thick layer of clay, and predictions vary regarding how much it will sink. According to the Institution of Civil Engineers the airport sink rate fell from 50 cm a year in 1994 to 7 cm a year in 2008. The study in the Journal of Geotechnical and Geoenvironmental Engineering in 2015 shows that the two islands will reach sea level in the next 40 to 60 years. The problem is due simply to a difference between the planning engineer's estimates and the sinking rate that has occurred in reality. A further concern is the unequal sinking at different parts of the airport. To prevent damage or cracking the airport runways were repaved with asphalt rather than concrete. Of course the actual rate of further sinking may turn out to be different from what is estimated now. Just as the original estimate did. The risk with further sinking is that as it approaches sea level, any storms or typhoons are more likely to cause water to break over the sea wall and engulf the airport. There's little that can be done to change this fundamentally, but the construction does allow for some minimizing of damage and disruption. According to the Straits Times, a three-year project began in 2019 to further raise the sea walls. Additionally, the runways will also be raised by one meter by increasing the layers of asphalt. The newspaper notes that the equivalent of $510 million is currently set aside for disaster prevention measures, but this may increase as part of this project. Kansai International Airport is as impressive as it is expensive, the airport is an engineering marvel and successfully serves the Kansai region of Japan including the major Japanese city of Osaka. 
Hopefully it'll continue to do so in the decades to come. Do you think Kansai International Airport and its construction on an artificial island was a good idea? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to check our channel for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.